So I'm not rounding my low back, I'm not rounding my mid back, but I'm starting with this hip hinge. I'm initiating the movement with a hip hinge. Hey everyone, Dr. Todd from Gonson Spine and Wellness. In this video, we're gonna talk about proper shoveling techniques. So we're out here in the garden. I'm gonna show you this because I know it is summertime right now. Whenever you're watching this video, if you're watching it right when we filmed it or in the future, this should help you. Whether it's summer or winter, wherever you live, you need to have proper shoveling mechanics with your spine because we see these injuries with people all the time and they always ask us how to do this properly. So we decided we would make a full-fledged video and we have a spine model over there in the garden so I can refer back to that. Isn't that cool? Before we get started though, realize we serve two audiences. One is the public that wants to learn about natural health and healing. So whether they are patients of ours in Meridian, Idaho at Gonston Spine and Wellness, or they come in from out of state, or they're going to some other amazing chiropractor and they just wanna learn more about their health, you're in the right place. And the second audience is chiropractors. We teach chiropractors how to put functional movement, like we're doing right here, corrective exercise into your practice because it is crucial if you want the best results possible. Check out Move Now You for that. For chiropractors, you'll see the link below. So let's get started on proper shoveling technique. So I got a shovel here. Let's just say I'm gonna shovel some rock and I've done this. A lot of this stuff here at one point I helped put together. I think all of this beautiful arrangement though, I'll give full credit to my wife behind the camera over there. Good job, Linda. She did all of this, doesn't it look cool? Anyway, comment below if you have a garden at home and I don't think YouTube lets you share pictures, but you can tell us all about your garden. So do that. So when you're shoveling, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you understand how to hip hinge. I'll link a video above about hip hinging because it's a very important movement. Comes in handy not just when you're brushing your teeth, but when you're shoveling. So hip hinging is how you should move your body back like this. Not gonna go through it in detail now because we made a whole other video all about that movement. So what you do is you hip hinge, okay? Curve here, move through the hips, watch the video, and you're gonna grab some, right? And I'm staying in that hip hinged position. So I'm not rounding my low back, I'm not rounding my mid back, but I'm starting with this hip hinge. I'm initiating the movement with a hip hinge, grabbing here, okay, lifting. And then if I need to throw this somewhere, I am not rotating like this, okay? There's too much ability to rotate through the spine if you're gonna do this. What's better is pivot through the feet. So move through the feet, or if you're really skilled at this, you can rotate through the hips, but not through the spine. I just recommend from the get-go, try not to really rotate when you have to throw whatever you're shoveling. So what I would do is I would pick this up and then when you throw it, I would step and throw it. So I'm staying neutral and I'm moving my body to throw whatever's in the shovel versus rotating and twisting. So again, it's hip hinging to get down to it, grabbing, if I need to throw this over here, I step with it, boom, throw it over here. Okay, I'm not gonna mess up my wife's garden here because she'll get very upset. That's the first tip. The second tip with this is when you're shoveling multiple loads over and over and over again, don't just do it one-sided. So maybe count, I'm gonna do 10 this side. Then I'm gonna do 10 the other side. So work this pattern symmetrically. So main things, one hip hinge, work symmetrically side to side. Things you don't wanna do, you don't wanna flex forward and cause that abnormal curve here in the spine. Don't rotate with the load. Actually, you know, move your body, pivot, either with your feet or through your hips, or actually just step. Don't lift too heavy of a load at one time and really force your body into failure. Break it up into smaller shovels. It's better to do 10 of a smaller load than eight of a bigger load and then hurt yourself. Take breaks periodically, drink lots of water. What else? Do this at the time of day when it's not super hot, if it's in the summer. And if it's in the winter and you're shoveling throughout here in a place like Idaho, where we had to learn how to shovel snow for the first time because came from California, then was in New Mexico, a little bit of snow there, but hardly at all. Then Idaho, we've had some winters with a little bit of ice and snow in our driveway. Same principles with shoveling snow is split up sides, hip hinge, don't rotate through your spine, step to throw the load in the shovel. There we go, that's it. So hopefully those tips help you with shoveling. Comment below. Let us know if you already knew this stuff or this gave you some new insight or if you have anything to add to some of these quick little tips that we wanted to share about proper shoveling techniques. You don't hurt your spine you and keep your body strong. This is Dr. Todd from Gonstead Spine and Wellness. And when it comes to the health of you and your family, results matter most.